Welcome back. I'm just doing a recap for the games that I played at Melcon. So Melcon is a small board game weekend that I did at my house. Um, last year we did it at a hall, so it was a bigger event. This year with everything going on, I had two kids graduating. Um, we just kind of kept it smaller. And it's normally uh, a, an event that I host around my birthday. So this is kind of the way I celebrate my birthday. So... Um, and this year we played tons of games. I'm just going through each game that we've recap, uh, played as a recap. So the next one I'm on is The Captain is Dead. So first of all, I want to point out, I was impressed. Like I've played The Captain is Dead many times. Most of the time it's me and Lee. Sometimes we'll have a kid or two involved. Um, but it's always been a fairly low player count. But this one will play a lot of people. And I think we were seven players playing The Captain is Dead, which is such a neat, neat, game um it's loosely based on star trek as you're playing it you can tell this is star trek this it, it's star trek but they haven't got an official ip to it so it's it's loose but you could see like elements that kind of oh i see what they did there um and it's really interesting so the captain is dead the ship has aliens on it. Your warp core is broken and you need to fix it so that you can warp out of there. And you're trying to do this without having your shields go all the way down, without having the aliens take over the ship. Um, there's just everything is going wrong and you need to uh, try and fix everything to, to be able to get out. So each player is going to have a different character that they're going to play as and each character has a different abilities and depending on the color that you have, which area of the ship you start in, maybe you're in the cargo, maybe you're in the armory, maybe you're in like the CPU, like there's just different areas that you would start in. But you flip like five, uh, three or five cards that's of things that are already kind of started broken and going wrong. Um, your character has different natural abilities and then for the other stuff there's cards that you can collect that will give you like the command ability, the science ability um, and some of the tasks that needs to be done so fixing the warp core I think needed five science abilities and two action in order to be able to fix it one level so we had to fix it seven times in order to be able to have that fix and then you can warp out of there and you win the game um, so it's like you can see like the table was full and it was neat because like it's a cooperative game we're all working towards the same goal playing taking turn and the turn is not necessarily just going around the table it depends on the character that you got uh their rank like whoever has the lowest number ranks so and rank number one would go first and so on um this was one of the characters that was in place so the crewman um, he's a rank three. He's able to hold up to six cards. He's got four actions that he has access to, and he has a tactical, uh, natural skill that he has access to. His per person or special ability, because he's the red shirt one, right? So if anybody is getting injured in a room, he dies instead and just next turn pops back up into. Uh, the bri onto the bridge. So he's just the red shirt dies all the time and just but there's always another red shirt that shows up so that's his ability. Uh, but then it avoids the other uh, crew members to to get hurt because if you're hurt you're limited into what you can do. You can still kill aliens and you can still move but you're gonna need to kill the aliens in order to be able to move to go to the med bay so that you can be better because you can't do any other actions really. <clears throat> so the the crewman was very very helpful in that way um, this is what the board looks like so you have the middle section which is uh, the ship and then onto that is like okay so in the armory you have the torpedoes that you can shoot so if you go there you can activate the shoot a torpedo action so that you can shoot those alien uh, ships that are affecting your your abilities like because sometimes you'll have an alien ship that's attacking you and as long as this alien ship is close to you every time you take any shield damage it goes down by an extra 10% so instead of getting hit by 10% 
your shield goes down 20%. Well, we can't take too many of that before this becomes a big problem. So we need to get that alien ship off our back so you can go to the torpedo to shoot them. Like there's all these different things of what you can do. Um, and then you'll notice they're all green right now, but they flip to the red side because they break down. Oh, we can't shoot any torpedoes because they're too, like it's it's damaged. So then you got to send somebody there to fix it, uh, and then you can flip it back up. If it's damaged, because one thing, if it's destroyed, it's a lot harder to bring back if you can bring it back. Like so, everything that can go wrong will <laughs> go wrong. Um, when we played this, this is the first time I won. We actually won this scenario, and that was my first time ever. So is it that the higher player count helped because we had more of the skill cards available or we were just able to kind of get more stuff? I don't know. I don't know what made it that we were able to win this time and the rest of the time I didn't. And that's, you know what, and I like that about a game. I don't like a cooperative game where you win too much. I want it to be a challenge. And this game definitely fits that bill. Um, it will be a challenge. Um, but yeah, no, we actually ended up winning this round and it was so satisfying. And even though we're playing seven players, it didn't feel overly long. It didn't feel like it was a lot of time between turns because we're all looking, contributing, and kind of trying to figure out what we want to do. And then be like, okay, well, I want to go there. Oh, darn, I would need more science. I was like, oh, well, I got science. I could give you science. Like, so everybody's involved the whole time. Um, it's just such a great game. I love this one. And that was The Captain is Dead. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.